How's it going, collectors? J-Man here. If you see my previous uh, look at the uh, neck of quarter scale city under Predator, I said I was going to do a bit of paint work on the guy. And uh, I have, I've finished it off. I just wanted to uh, run through what was changed. I didn't think it was, it was a brilliant piece as it was out the box, but I just wanted to do a little bit more work on it, especially on the armour and the uh, bio army. Uh, so I will run through what I felt needed to do a little bit of work on. So the shin guards, well, they were really well done as they was, but I just gave them a bit more of a brassy copper look. But uh, kept that they're like um, corroded effect in there. Uh, there was some, uh, the neck gun was like uh, coppered over and brass, some weathering done on that. As we move up, the piece here was way too high, it was right the way up. So I cut off, there was like a thin black string attachment, got rid of that, got some uh, more substantial looking brown rope. And we lowered this down. We did some weathering work on that. Same with the gauntlets. There was silver when this figure came out the box. The City Hunters gauntlets are more of a brassy copper look to them. So then there was a total repaint on them. There. The blades was repainted and uh, blood effect added. Like this guy had just... Uh, had a little bit of a confrontation, so I uh, put some blood on there. There was some weathering on there, but it was like just wasn't like blood, it was more like just I think dirt or something. But uh, so I added the blood. Same with the string on the bag, that was like thin black string, so I uh, cut that off, rechanged that. Also, the little bag there. I uh, it was it was okay out the box where I did uh, I did a total repaint on that and uh, weathered that one up as well. We did a bit of weathering on the belt there, and also this guy's bone bag here. I uh, reworked that, especially on the bone. Make it look a lot more authentic looking bone. This leg armour was uh, re-weathered. And also all the armour on the back was redone. Because it was too silver. Way too silver at the box. Uh, the City Hunter was more of this brassy copper look to it. I picked up most of the information from the special edition uh, DVD box set where you get to see some great shots of the actual uh, costume that was used in the Predator 2 film. It gives some really good uh, insight into uh, the interviews with the special effects guys and uh, that's where I picked up most of the colour schemes. The body was not touched at all, it was bang on as it was. Same with the disc, that is actually as it was in the film and the uh, spare. I left them alone because I was quite happy with them as there was. Front armour was done as well. And the major thing really that was done was the bio helmet because out the box it was too yellowy gold. It was more of this uh, dark brass look to it. Like I say, it was it was yellowy gold coloured. Uh, shoulder cannon was given a little bit of uh, slight highlight weathering. Uh, it was it's pretty good out of the box. Uh, his shoulder cannon, uh, but it was mostly the armour, the bio helmet that was changed, and uh, like I say, the string holding his. Uh, it's this piece on here and also like the one on the back was too wide that was chopped off and the bag string was replaced for a more realistic looking piece of string and I'm uh, pleased with the way he's come out I think he's come out quite well uh, again this piece out the box is fantastic 
as it is, it's well worth the money. And I'm pleased to see that uh, NECA will be releasing shortly uh, the Elder, Pred Elder, and uh, Big Red 2 in this scale. So that's exciting, especially with the Pred Elder. I mean, that's going to be a fantastic piece. And obviously, Big Red in uh, quarter scale. So, uh, thanks for watching, peeps. Uh, I hope you've liked this little vid. I'll catch you later.